Hello, I'm Peter and from another soil tree. Today I'm going to show you a uh, summer recipes for this uh, festive seasons, uh, Christmas festive seasons. So I'm going I'm, I'm to show you how to make a watermelon daiquiri. Uh, so here's my ingredients. We have the fine sugar syrup, simple syrup. Here we have the lemon juice. We have a uh, uh, sugar, two spoons sugar. I have the watermelon juice and I have white rum. So I'm going to start with the ice cubes. Uh, then we're going to put uh, watermelon juice, 90ml. Uh, white rum, 60 ml. Then a, a pinch of sugar. Uh, fine sugar, simple syrup, 15 ml. Lemon juice, lime juice, 15 ml. Now we're gonna shake. Then we're gonna single strain in a short whiskey glass. Then we the last is the garnish. We're gonna garnish with the uh, orange wheel. There you go. Watermelon Dakari. Uh, on Fridays, Saturdays, we have the happy hour from 5 to 8. As you can see on our board, we have the summer special. We have the French 75 gin, lemon, and prosecco. Watermelon, lime, daiquiri, and sugar syrup. We also have the passion and pineapple daiquiri. And we also have other cocktails, including margaritas, mojitos, sangria, and caipiroska. Welcome to and the soil. experience. Uh, and with that, welcome to Under the Soil Tree for the best cocktails in this festive season. Hi guys, welcome to Under the Soil Tree. This is Chef Fred. And today's dish that you're going to make today from Tupike Show. It's our smoked beef patty or beef burger. That's what we're going to go that's what we're going to do today. So as you can see here I have my patty. It has garlic, it has onion, it has paprika, it has some gram masala, it has some olive oils, all those sort of flavors that we do here at Swahili. You have to come here and try it and get all the flavors right. So basically, it's a normal burger. You know, people are wondering why this guy is doing just a normal burger. So the secret about this burger is how the process of making this party. That really matters a lot because it's very flavorful, very smoky. And our secret is just what I just, what I'm just from showing you 
how we smoke this party. So the secret is smoking this party. So I'm going to show you how to go about it. For our recipe, we'll just need to put this aside. We make our coslo because our burger goes with, goes with coslo, some fries and the burger. So first of all, I'm going to show you is how to make the best coslo ever. So we need some cabbages in, some carrots, some shredded tomatoes, onions, onions sorry. <laughs> and some coriander, a dash of sugar or two, a pinch of salt, a large pinch, then you have our vinegar. Just the white vinegar, just normal vinegar, the white vinegar and two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then just stir to incorporate all the ingredients together and make nice coleslaw. Then lastly, we're going to add our sesame, smoked sesame oil, just to give it that glossy, shiny coleslaw, not a dull one and also adds flavor as well. And we are done with our coslo. So put that aside. So go back to our pate. So for our pate, we need bacon, we need cheese, we need lettuce, we need tomatoes, like just a normal burger. So we have to make sure our grill our grill though is really very hot for our burger to be a medium well and just take two minutes and a half, each side's two minutes and a half. Okay, so we go on, we add a bit of oil to our grill though, it's very hot. And then goes in our pate. So meanwhile, as the pate is going on, we're going to add in our bacon the griddle and next we're going to do our spicy onion rings so for the onion rings so we're going to need our butter so in this butter we have the we have coriander we have our ground flour we have salt we have garlic we have paprika and some sparkling water so that's, we get the nice crispy onion rings for our burger. So first of all, we need some soy sauce, a dash just to give that salty, nice, tasty on the onions. From the, sol from the sauce to the uh, flour. From our flour to our butter. You have to keep in mind the burger and bacon are still cooking. So we go on into our hot oil. Very hot now for our onion rings to go in. There you go. So our bacon, you can turn them. Still we get that golden color and as well as for our burger. Because it's a medium rare, medium rare, so it's two minutes and a half, two minutes and a half on both sides. So it's almost just half a minute and then we flip it over. So for onion rings, really takes so fast to get that crispy and golden color. When you get the oil temperature correct. And our onion rings are ready. Drain them. 
to get rid of excess fats. And then now we can turn our burger. And adjust it a bit. Put all that aside. So it's been literally one and a half minutes. Then we can add our bacon and cheese. So as we're waiting for the other minute to finish, we're going to go on with our bread roll. We have our butter. So spread some on the bread roll. Name on the same grill. Just hit your bun from there. Or even you can also use the fats from the meat and the bacon and it just flavors that bread roll very nice. So now guys, our bacon is ready. You can set aside. And check on our bread roll. Our bread roll is nice, golden, with all that flavors from the meat and the bacon. So for this, you can set aside for our plating. So meanwhile, been literally two and a half, so we can add in our bacon and our cheddar cheese on top of the bacon, and then cover that just to melt down the cheese. So next one. It's railing up our burger. So this is our crispy bread from the grill. So what we're going to use is the, we're going to top up with some lettuce, shredded lettuce, some tomatoes sliced, our pickled cucumber, And that's it. As soon as the melt, the cheese is, has melted, then we're going to flip it up and then add our coleslaw. Our coleslaw, like I've shown you, it's ready. Just plating. So you can just go on with this. There you go. Meanwhile, as we're, we're still waiting for our cheese to melt, we can cook our fries, our blanched fries. These are from our local farmers from the market. So they come in there and prep them, pre prep them and then we blanch them. So it's ready, it's just cooking them. Blanching, I mean, it, it, it lessens the time of cooking from scratch and when it's blanched, if you start, if you have a uncooked fries, it takes longer time than blanched fries. Yeah, so the, the process of blanching is to just help to easy the service. Yeah. So there you go. Our oil is hot enough. You can check on our burger. See it's going good. 
just few seconds. As soon as our fries will be ready, our burger will be ready, and we're good to go. So at this point of the burger, you can add in your onion rings on top. And then you just cover it a bit. But you, ha you don't have to cover it too much so that we don't want our onions to be soggy. They have to stay always crispy. And then there we have our fries. Nice golden color. Onto our bucket. And then we have our own chip seasoning from Swahili. You have to come to a restaurant to try this. It's very nice. So our fries are ready. Place them on a basket. And there we go. But now our burger cheese. Can you smell the smoky flavor? It smells so good. So that on to go, the burger. Ooh. Don't worry if vegetables come out, you can always fix. There's always a way. And there you have a smoked burger. To, my, to the favorite part of the show, my favorite part of the show. I don't know about you, but this is my favorite part of the show where I get to enjoy, I get to test whatever has been made. Uh, we've seen the chef do his thing, and right about now, I'm with Emma for another, another uh, opportunity to feast. Yeah, indeed. Today, we're having burgers. Yeah, very special burgers. And I understand there's something special about your burger. Tell us. We smoke the burger first, uh -huh. and that gives it more depth of flavor. It's, mm -hmm. It gives it a real great barbecue taste, mm -hmm. and it seems to render the fat as well and, and, and flavor that also. Uh -huh. hey. Here we go. Asante sana. Haribu. And it looks jumbo. It is. <laughs> We make all our bread rolls as well. So okay. we make a, it's a brioche roll. It's mm -hmm. got egg in it, which gives it stability and lift. Uh -huh. And it means it doesn't collapse and fall apart mm -hmm. like a, a store-bought bread so roll. So I can literally hold it and uh, give it a bite. If your mouth is big enough. Uh, <laughs> and that's one thing also I, I, I need to mention because we've seen most cases when guys are advertising their burgers, mm -hmm. they seem big on picture. Yeah. But when you come, you want to order, it doesn't look that big. Right. Yeah. Tell yeah. us, what makes your burger this big? As I split it, sir? We have we have many layers. So okay. we start off obviously with our burger you want bun. To help me? You're yeah, the chef. sure. Please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got our patty. We've got our homemade pickles, uh -huh. um, cheddar cheese from Naivasha, and then our onion rings, which are in a bajia batter Ooh. for extra flavour. Look at this. Can I do this? Yeah, you go for it. Look at this. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to split it. Okay, you pick your piece. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at those layers. And perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. Yep. Perfectly cooked. You know, I'm Kenyan. I had the chef talk about medium rare and I was like, ooh, chef. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how it tastes. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The smokiness? Mm hmm You can literally feel it. Yeah. The cheese is well melted. Mm hmm Again, that's another letdown. My my cameraman is telling me to Inikukula <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I love how the cheese is also melted. Yeah. And yeah, let me taste the coleslaw. I understand this is your special coleslaw. Mm. Yeah, we make it in-house. Mm -hmm. We make it fresh every day because mm -hmm. you still want some crunch in those yeah, vegetables. Yeah, vegetables. Um, but really well dressed with our, our mayonnaise sauce. Mm. A thousand island? No. Secret recipe. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Kindly tell us in case they want to order, in case they want to do all that 
Uh, you have frozen foods as well? Yeah, so we have our frozen foods on um, Green Spoon, but you can also get them from us directly as well in-house. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, to um, order online. Mm -hmm. uh, you, or you can be in for a meal and take some away after you've finished eating with us. Okay. Yeah, we're also working on our um, Christmas parties at the minute. Mm -hmm. So you can book your Christmas parties with us and we can cater for you in your office or your home, or you can come here and we host your party for you. Mm -hmm. And this can certainly be part of that menu that we put together for you. Mm -hmm. So if you want real authentic food uh, with that Swahili touch in it, under the Swahili tree got you covered. Right about now, Kula Kwa Macho, Nonaje. What would be your parting shot to There's so many wonderful viewers who are watching us. I wish you could smell this. Mm -hmm. If we had smelly vision, yeah. you, could, you could smell it, you could taste it. True. I wish you could. <laughs> True. Until next time, I've been your host producer, Brian Sumo, with Emma. Under the tree, <laughs> under the Swahili tree. <laughs>